kindergarten students. Are you all ready? So if you are ready, you have to be. What you have to be? Quiet. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. So we are thrilled to welcome you all to our fun-filled Krishna Ashtami celebration. Janmashtami, a joyful celebration of Lord Krishna's birth. It is, is a significant festival in the Hindu calendar. It commemorates the arrival of the divine prince Krishna, who descended upon earth to spread love, wisdom and righteousness. As we gather to celebrate Janmashtami, let us immerse ourselves in the festive mood and let's spread the message of love and selfless service. But before we gear up for the program, let's invoke the blessing of God Almighty to our prayer. A God Almighty, a God Almighty, holy be your name, holy be your name, your king and gun, your king and gun, your will be done, your will be done, on earth, on earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven, give us this day, give us this day. nursery students. So first is chest number one.
Krishna is there. Out of the ten, what is the number? First number, incarnation one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which is the number? Seven. Yeah? Yeah? I didn't get correct answer. Who said eight? Right, you're right. So clap your hands for him. He is the eighth incarnation of Lord Krishna. So apart from that we have nine incarnations. Which is the last incarnation of Lord Vishnu? Can anyone tell? Oh, that everybody knows. The last one everybody knows. Who is the last? Kali. Okay, that too is very good. I appreciate all of you. So, in next, today is, the, is uh, what is the day? 24th of August. Next month, 15th, all Kerlites will be celebrating. What is the fest festival of Kerlites? What is the festival of Kerlites? Onam. Onam. It's a great celebration in Kerala. So many festivals are not there. There is remarkably one very famous state festival of Kerala that is Onam. Onam on Onam. It is also we are celebrating one of the incarnations of Lord Vishnu. There is the Hindu mythology. You know which incarnation do we celebrate? On Onam Day? Vamana. We celebrate the incarnation of Vamana. Okay, this is the minimum things which we have. What I would like to tell today, Lord Krishna, Lord Vishnu, okay, and the avatar, other incarnations of Lord Vishnu. What is the role of Lord Vishnu? Let me ask that question also. What is the? Yes, anybody can tell? Brahma? Vishnu. Vishnu. Then? Shiva. Trinities. Trinities. Am I right? Yes. So what does Brahma do? Create. What does Vishnu do? Maintain, administer, look after things. Yeah? Then what does Shiva do? Destroy. Destroy. Yeah, yeah. That's what it told. I too don't understand what will be destroyed. The world will be destroyed. So, in every Yes. Destruction itself. If God is involved, there should be goodness. There should be goodness in Okay, children? So we have known all this about. We have Hinduism, we have Christianity, we have Islam. All this. So in all this. We worship God. God Almighty. God Almighty is there. And through different channels, we strive hard with a lot of sacrifice and penance to reach God Almighty. Children, listen now. What is very, very important is today we celebrate decoration is done Radhas are there Krishnas are there they will have their ladder enjoyment they will have the pot breaking enjoyment and all these are there these are part of celebrations and if it is another festival a varied activities and 
enjoyments will be there. But in everything, whatever be the religious festival we have, if we are Hindus, if we are Hindus, children, the Hindu religious book which guides all Hindus will be there. Vedas, holy books will be there. When we respect, when we respect these holy books, Islam, Muslims, they have Quran. When they celebrate, it is not the activities and the celebrations we come together and enjoy all this. It's all part of it, to commemorate the day. But to give the fullest meaning, to give the fullest meaning, we go deep into the spiritual books. When we go deep into that, we will be taken to the infinite wisdom. Actually, we call it wisdom. Children, are you able to listen? So, okay, these religious books, whether it is Vedas and all, we take it light. We are fascinated and moved by culture and practice. Some are doing this way, so let us also do in this way and that becomes a culture and a custom. Christians have their own traditions, customs. Hindus, they have their own traditions, customs. But in all this, to give the fullest meaning, we should go deep into the holy book. Muslims will go deep. Children, look here. How many fingers do I show? How many fingers do I show now? How many fingers do I show now? Can you see? Yes. Right from childhood, right from childhood, we should show great respect for these holy books. Great respect for these holy, these holy books. God will take us to the heights of wisdom. The infinite wisdom is there with God. You know what is infinite? It will be never ending. We cannot calculate. We cannot measure. Such infinite wisdom is there with whom? With? With whom children? With God. Not with me. Not with you. Not with your parents. Not with your teachers. But infinite wisdom is there in God. God himself is with infinite wisdom. And it is the source of wisdom. And wisdom will pour out from God. And to take up this wisdom, children, respect the holy books, go deep into the holy books, you should have a thirst, you should have a thirst to get more and more information from this holy book, information from this holy book, and God will take us to learn more and more in this wisdom. There is only one truth everywhere. There is only one truth. And to catch up the truth. How many of you want to reach the truth? How many of you want to reach the truth? Yes. If we want to reach the truth, when we reach the truth, we will be the happy 
person in the world. We will be the happiest person in the world. And to reach the truth, the best way is through the holy book that we follow. When we follow the holy book and understand the meaning of them, God will take us to the ultimate truth. There we enjoy wisdom and we will be satisfied in everything. Understand children? So with this, I close. So my message today is, clap your hands. Yes. How many fingers do you see now? Five. So my message today is, don't dishonor the holy books. We have to honor the holy books, we have to respect and we have to try to find we get explanations from our parents and don't, not in the halfway. We have to go deep. We have to try, take me God to the deepest point of this and there remains the wisdom, there remains happiness, there remains satisfaction and that is the ultimate aim of humanity. And that is the ultimate aim of humanity. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, children. Thank you. Children, now we are going to have Shivan Sari. He is going to say the Bhagavad Gita slokas. Andarki namaskaralu na pere Shivan Sari moro thakte chalo tu nano. Ini per Bhagavad Gita slokas chappa bhoto nano. Aham vaishva naro bhutva. धन्यवाद Come on, children. Give him a big round of applause.